back out folks so we back cooking again tonight so what we got tonight uh, right I've kind of half prepped a kind of pasta dish with spicy sausage sorry smoked sausage peppers onions garlic and all that I've got a couple of I should use the other night. I need pizza with these. I was going to have garlic bread, but what I've done, I've, I've gone Italian tonight. The pasta, so I've put garlic on this, Italian herbs, cook them up. I'm going to, as well as what's already in the pasta, I'm also going to chuck in the rest of that. Smoked cheese, uh, salami, and cottage cheese. Just going to chuck the whole lot in. And tonight I've got a dessert. So this is something. Apologies, I can't remember your name, but she told me about this baked apple with crushed shortbread and sugar. So I'm going to stick that in the fire as well, and that's going to be my dessert. But first things first. I was about to say we'll get the fire on, but as you can see, this one we made earlier. So fire's on. Let that burn down a wee bit. I've got the Bitty Big Q grill again. Great handy bit of kit. So it's directly over the fire from ready to go. So set that up, get that over the fire, and we'll start kicking. I really do love this grill though. It's an absolute great bit of kit. And hopefully, I know Biggie, B Bitty Big Q did say they're going to send me some stuff uh, for some giveaways. There is going to be a giveaway just shortly. I've just uh, I've just passed 4,500 subscribers. So thanks everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hitting the like button. Just thanks. But anyway, cooking wise. So I've got the pasta, I've got my trusty FP32, best pan in the world. Pasta I'm cooking up in the billy can and got a brew, I've got the uh, apple, I don't know what you'd call it, roasted apple, baked apple, who knows, but it literally is an apple cored shortbread inside, a bit of brown sugar, stick it in the fire, I don't even know how long you're supposed to cook it for, I'll say about half an hour or something, but first things first, let's get some dinner on, stay tuned. So I'm going to stick the, I'll stick the fast on first, this bit of pasta to the side there. These uh, this pan, you don't need any, don't need any oil for these. You could put some oil in if you want, but they are designed just to design. They're made just so you can basically chuck them in the pan. Three minutes aside, boom, ready to go. So I'm going to chop that in hand first. There we go. Chop that on. Oh, drop the stuff over there for you. Right. Oh, this lot here. Yeah. I'm going to cook one of them first, I'm going to eat one of them just straight away. Pasta wise, that's that there. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to chuck all the cottage cheese in. Pure concoction again tonight. Right, salami, and it goes. Boom, boom, boom. 
smoked cheese. Got that on and out. Right, so shouldn't take too long. I think this will be ready in no time. Then we can start eating. But I'll lay it all out, see what it looks like once it's ready to go. Right, boom. First one's ready. That's it. What a pot. At a tat. I'll do that Easter. But, here we go. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Why, that's what. Right, but Italian flatbreads. Delicious. Try to multitask here. Oh, yeah. Lovely jubbly, just give it a wee, a wee taste test. Well, we should have been ready already. In fact, to be honest, I would say that is ready. So, take the dish up. So, there we go. Some sort of mixed mishmash Italian pasta with salami, smoked sausage, peppers, onions, garlic, cottage cheese, smoked cheese. Deep garlic uh, and Italian herb flatbread, good to go. Taste test time. So, what does it taste like? Bon appetit. Mm. Tastes good to me. Garlic, flat, uh, garlic and let's say it was Italian flatbread. Garlic and Italian flatbread. Mm. Amounts. Anyway, I'll dig into this. I'll bring it back in a second. Got a brew on in a minute. Wipes good. Oh, and I forgot the baked apple. I better stick that in. I forgot all about that. So, hopefully that'll turn out not too bad as well. Brew time. All that apple's cooking away. So, plans for this year. Got a few plans in the pipeline. One of the things I'm looking forward to, my good friend Brian. I've not seen Brian watch my videos, but the warmer weather's coming in, my good friend Brian. So the plan is, I'm going to go to Aaron. Not in the car, not by foot. Motorbike. So my good friend Brian, motorbike fanatic. So the plan is, we're going to go lightweight. And go a bike tour for a bike camp, motorbike camp. So that's what I'm looking forward to. So Brian, if you're watching, let's make it happen. Uh, what else? Oh, you shout out for Sparky, Jim, Kev. They've been trying to get me to go at this. They've built a fantastic. Uh, like a bushcraft shelter 
out in the forest somewhere, I'll say no more, top secret location. That's looks brilliant. So that's another one. I'm looking forward to doing that. I'll catch up with them soon. Uh, pretty fancy Ben Ann. That's one I want to do. Hopefully maybe try and do that this year. Uh, just think there's just so much seen out of the doubt. It's just like that, where can I go? I want to try and go some different places. This weekend I'm only I'll probably go to Galway Forest. But I'm gonna go here, there and everywhere this year. Just fancy a few days away. Change of scenery. You know how it is. It's good to get out, isn't it? Right, that's about half an hour. Let's try this baked apple. Right, moment of truth. I'll get the thing open. Has it kicked or is it not? Remember folks, leave no trace. Oh, it's tin foil and rubbish and it will be coming. It will be coming with it. Oh, that smells good. What it smells like. Almost smells a bit like apple crumble. to get this thing open. There we go. So, this is apple, like I say, with, uh, what did I say, apple, I'll give my hands a wee wash before I eat that, apple, brown sugar, and Crushed up shortbread. See what it tastes like. That oh, looks good actually. Oh, roasting. Good shout. So, again, can't remember who it was that told me about this. So, comment below, whoever it was. Good shout. Very nice. What even smells? It smells like apple crumble. I should really have brought some custard with me as well, shouldn't I? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Very nice indeed. Right, I'm going to have this brew. I'm going to call it a day. So, just a wee short cooking video, uh, but probably the next video I do, it'll be a camping video. Might just do one out north, the backwoods, Friday night, be a late one, but even the dark by the time I, I get set up. But Saturday, Galloway Forest, probably take the hot tent, meet up with Marco, Billy, Marco's woman. That should be a good one as well. And hopefully, Billy, this is the Italian connection. Billy's coffees. I don't know if you watched the video a wee while back when I met up with Marco and Billy, but I can't remember what's in this stuff, but it was lethal. But he basically just poured it into a wee espresso. One, two or three of them, and very nice. So, that'll be the next one. Anyway, I'm just babbling on now. So, thanks for watching, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you smash the like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell for future notifications. We'll catch you in the next one. Adios.